thank you. Thank you, Jesus. You are God all by yourself. Amen. Thank you for your loving kindness. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for bringing us into another day. Amen. Your name be glorified. Yes, Lord. Your name be glorified. Amen. Receive praise and adoration. Amen. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for prayer. You have enabled us to pray. Yes, Lord. Everything must root in around yes, Lord. our destiny. Amen. We cast them out. Amen. We cast them out. Amen. We cast them out. Amen. We decree an open door Amen. that no man can shut. Amen. Every resistance at our gate, yes, Lord. we destroy it in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Every resistance at our gate, yes, Lord. we destroy Destroy it in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Every resistance at our gate, Amen. we destroy it in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. We declare our going out today is blessed. Yes. Our coming in is blessed. Amen. Every door you knock shall be widely open. Amen. In the Amen. name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you, faithful Father. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. I am that I am. Thank you, Blessed be your name forever. Amen. In Jesus' precious name. We have prayed. Amen. Let's take our seat in our various home and rejoice. What a great prayer we have prayed this morning. There are things most rooting around our destiny. Around our destiny. We have laid them to their graves. Amen. And we are now set to shine Amen. in every area of our life. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. I said praise God. Well, this morning our internet is is uh, is trying to behave well. Therefore, just uh, understand with us and knowing fully that we are online and stay online. Amen. That is part of the thing we are talking about. You must not uh, react to everything. Amen. There are things you ignore. Yes, sir. Praise the Lord. There are things you just ignore them. Amen. You don't you don't react to everything. Amen. You lose praise God. Hallelujah. I said praise God. Hallelujah. So we are looking in our exhortation this morning. We are looking still looking at the power of silence. The power of silence. And just like what I have just said, now if you are hearing me. And you are getting me. Let me just see on. Uh, let me know through your text. Uh, not everything around you should call for your attention. Not everything around us should call for our attention. We doors. That's why we thank you, Samuel Chen, for confirming that you are getting me. Now, we cannot use all our time to attend to everything that makes noise around us. That's why we are looking at this. I Close the last uh, in, on on, uh, on our Monday broadcast. I close by saying, don't waste your word on people or situation who deserve your silence. And I said, sometimes the most powerful thing you can say is nothing in some situation. I repeat, don't waste your words on people or situation who deserve your silence. And I said, sometimes the most powerful thing you can say is is nothing. You just watch. You remember God said to the children of Israel, he said, stand still and see the salvation of your God. 
There are situations that you keep silent about. Don't forget that I said, it is true, Isaiah says, the warrior come with a confused noise. But there are also a certain situations of your life that you just stand still. You don't talk. Rather, you put your trust in God. You put your trust in God. I will read that scripture where we, we, we pick that bearing. Isaiah chapter 30 and verse 15. He said, For thus saith the Lord, the Holy One of Israel, in returning and rest shall you be saved. In quietness and in confidence shall be your strength. You see that? He said, but and you will not. Most of the time, we don't want. We just want to talk. We just want to act. We just want to do what we should be having confidence in God that God is taking care of it. As powerful as prayer is, you remember in Philippians, he said, in nothing be terrified by your adversary. You see that? In nothing be terrified by your adversary. In nothing be terrified by your adversary. He said, for them, it is a token of perdition, but that, but for you, it is that of God and salvation. There are certain things your voice is not needed. And this is where discretion comes in. To know where you are supposed to pray, to know where you are supposed to study the word of God, and to know where to hold your peace. To keep silence. Yes, you heard me well. To keep silence. Not all war are more are, are uh, not in all, not in all war we secure victory by talking or by acting. Not all war. Verse sixteen, he said, "But ye said no, for we will flee upon horses." He said, "So he said, therefore shall ye flee." And we will ride on the swift, we will ride upon the swift. He said, therefore, they that pursue you be swift. I read Amplified Bible for you. Uh, Amplified Bible says, he said, for thus said the Lord, the Holy One of Israel, in returning to me, there is a time to turn to God and not to your enemy. There is a time to just turn to God and not your opposition. In other words, there is a time not to reply certain, certain situation according to their dictates. Something wanted to just be crying, be crying. Certain thing you notice about your life, just want you to, to go into depression. You don't respond. The Bible says, answer not a fool according to his folly. But rather, you return to God. He said, to rest in the ability of God. Lord, I commit this situation into your hand and I hold my peace. Amen. There is a time. Most time on our children, you can't give them your heart to behave the way you want. The highest you can do is to talk. You don't let that, that, that situation get you to the point whereby you, you begin to let it affect your own health. There are times, in most cases, Satan fight.
you just return to God, you just put your trust in God, and then you hold your peace. And I cite example like child, like childbearing, someone who is believing God for, for a child. How what what is the relevance of your tears? What what to have a child? It is zero. Your husband is one is not the one that made children. God said, children are his heritage. It is the one that make a barren woman to bear children. It's not their husband. So why, why get into a point whereby you are now becoming moody, you are now becoming uh, disorderly, you are not greeting each other? What will that do to you? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. It is a zero work. You can do nothing. It has no any import. And, and, and this woman has no children. Why, why should you answer him? You don't have to. Praise God. You don't have to answer that fellow. I think I'm stable. Am I okay? Amen. Amen. I'm sure you are hearing me. Yes. I want to get to know that you can hear me very well. Are we there? Are you there? So you don't, you don't, you don't get yourself worked up on certain situation. You don't get yourself worked up at all. You don't have a child. What he says narratives. You You don't he doesn't deserve a word from us. deserve from us is our silence. Amen. Our silence. Amen. Our silence. Somebody has this I look at you as he can't feel the pain of trekking or walking on foot more than you. Hmm. Somebody come and mock you and so he has not built his own house. Oh my God. There are people you that doesn't, I'm telling you, don't waste your words on people who doesn't deserve, who deserve only your silence. Only your silence. Somebody will come and tell you, oh, your church is not growing. Can you feel the pain of the church more than you that is pastoring it? No. He doesn't deserve any answer. Because in the first place, in the first place, it's not leading anyone. So, talk is cheap. So, such people, you don't engage them. Or somebody will look at you and say, you are too dark. So, so now, what can you do to you being dark? And you are getting yourself worked up. You know, that's what I'm saying. I want you to get it because we lose a lot of energy through this avenue. Amen? You look, you see how dark I am, and then you come and say, oh, that, that pastor is very dark. So, was I there when God formed me to tell him the complexion I, I want? Was I there? Did he not tell you in, your, in his word? That's why we don't need to look for what to answer them. Because we look, we look for what to answer them because we are not reading our Bible. What did he say in Psalm 100? He said, we are not the one. Him who have made. Do you understand what I'm saying? Very simple thing. And then we are his. So that means God formed me dark the way he wants me. 
So how can I change it? What can a maker say? That how did you make me this way? So I enjoy my being dark. You enjoy your being brown. Praise God. I said, praise God. You just, just, or somebody look at you and say, your shape is not good. What can a clay say to the potter? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. So we engage ourselves in an unnecessary war. Or somebody look at you and say, you are too short. And that bothers you. It doesn't, it doesn't. It doesn't make, it's, it's absolutely. That's why he said, he said, and you will not. You go after war on such thing. He said, but he said, no, for we will flee upon horses. He said, therefore, you will continue to flee because the people will. So I want you to understand this morning. ourselves, you know, to put our trust in him, that he will answer those areas of life to make a correction. You have been born. There is nothing you can do. There are things you cannot change. <laughs> praise God. I said, praise God. Well, somebody might be saying, what is this pastor say? I need to fight. Then you have not learned so many things with Christ. You have not learned so many things with Christ. Now, let me quickly take you to Isaiah 57. Isaiah 57, we sincerely apologize for the internet interruptions. It's part of the thing that you don't answer. You know, after you have paid your subscriber, if it's not giving you <laughs> enough, what can you do so you don't let it get into you? Praise God. Isaiah 50, uh, 50, 53, Isaiah chapter 53, Isaiah 53, and I will read one of my favorite advice here. We start reading from verse 6. Isaiah 53. Verse 6 says, all, all we like sheep have gone astray. He said, we have torn everyone to his own way and the Lord had laid on him the iniquity of us all take note of that take, take note of that all we like sheep has gone astray we have turned everyone to his own way and that offense, he said, and the Lord had laid on him the iniquity of us all. Oh my God. Oh my God. Do you understand that scripture? Wow. We are the one who erred, but the punishment, the iniquity was laid on him. You can hear me now. We are the one that err. Not him. We are the one who have gone astray. We are the one who have turned to our own way. And the next statement says, And the Lord had laid on him the iniquity of us all. I want you to see how Jesus handled that situation. Daughter. Shearers is dumb. 
That's how you discover Jesus. When people were saying, save yourself, he never answered them. If you have power, do this. He never do that. Then verse 7 says, he was oppressed and he was afflicted. But yet, he did not open his mouth. He did not open his mouth. You don't have to answer every situation according to their folly. If it were you and I, we'll be saying, I'm not the one who did this. I'm not the one who do that. Why did you say this? Why did you his mouth? I want you will discover from today. And your next move. That's why I said, when we fail to, un to, to understand this, to our opposition, our adversity, Christ. In the name of situation which you cannot change and return to God and trust on that subject. Praise God. I said, Praise God. The Lord will give you understanding. I said, The Lord will give you understanding. From today, you will not waste your energy. Precious time that are. That you cannot store, you cannot, you cannot, you cannot store it. You will not waste it in the name of Jesus Christ. You will not allow certain things to trouble your heart more than he said. He said, "Be anxious for nothing. Be anxious for nothing." There are certain pain that are ongoing in our life. They are unnecessary. For advancement, traction to your advancement. For example, some people put up a fight with you in your in the in the plot in the in the in the in the, in the, in the premises where you live. You don't engage them. Both of you are visitors. You don't allow such war to continue. Praise. silence or quietness is very vital as we journey to be quiet on certain issue you need to learn to be silent on certain issue praise God now let me read message Bible for you on the two scripture you will see what the Bible say exactly a message Bible I want to read it for you now verse 6 uh, verse 7 and 8 Let me read seven. He said, he was beaten. The other one. Verse six says, he said, he took punishment that made us whole. Through his bruises, we, were, we get healed. We were all like sheep who have wandered off and gotten lost. He was not the one that wandered off and gotten lost. We were all done our own thing. We have all done our own thing. Gone our own way. You see that? And God have piled all our sins. Everything we have done. You see that? On him. He's not the one who went wrong. That's why there was no reason for him to talk. Now look at verse 7. He said he was beaten. He was tortured. 
But he didn't say a word. You see that? He didn't say a word. He said, like a lamb taken to be slaughtered, and like a sheep being sheared. He's already dead. Being sheared. Look at what he said. He took it all in what? In he took it all in silence. There are things we must learn to take in, in silence. He took it all, not some, all in silence. And you know we do we do we, we do say it, that silence is the best answer for what? For a fool. Who is more foolish than Satan? Who is after your life? Who is more foolish than Satan? Who is still running after you? After God has made it clear, you are his choice. Who, who is God say he will not rest until you are walking out. Way that implies those who are taught what are they doing? They are the English, they are putting on God, renew their strength. They're supposed to allow the energy of. One is renewing. One must be aspiring. One must be aspiring. We, we are sometimes, uh, there's a proper English word that I would have loved to use there, but it's escaping my mind. You know, it's like you are jeopardizing your strength. You are weakening yourself by yourself. You are inflicting pain on yourself. There are issues of life that we can only commit to God. What of you? To you, so can, what can you do? You are nice to him, you wish him well, but here is he, he's ever wishing you evil. So, what can you do? You just keep silent. Tell you that you reserve or you have the right to be silenced because anything you say will be used against you in the law court. You see that? So it's not every time you we open our mouth, and it's not every time we we we, we release our energy on you cannot change. All you can do is to put your trust in God, all you can do is to return. I say, I hear. I hear. Praise the Lord. I, I say, praise the Lord. There are things you cannot change. There are things you don't get to work on you. I, I give you a, a, a testimony or an experience. We pick up a child and say, okay, as a church, we should assist them. That he has been assisting them. We send them to school. We pay all the fee. When the child, one of them finished, I said, well, congratulations. As you wait, we sponsored them. And then one of the day, he just decided to look at where we keep money, 200,000, took phone off. What, what do you do? What do you do? Is that my thank you? Is that the ministry thank you? Pick 100,000. the uh, pick phone of staffs and then disappear. So what can you do in this situation? Such situation, just keep quiet. Just leave it to God. Because only God know where he is. Only God have record of what you have done. You don't get yourself worked up. I only say in case
there are Praise God. Hallelujah. There are people that walk out of your life. Let them be. Let them be. There are family members that hold certain opinion against you. Let it be. Let it be. There are people that criticize you. Let it be. Through this teaching to let you know how silence is a Your opposition doesn't know your next move. When you are silent, they engage themselves more because they feel you have not heard. So what you are doing, you are you are doing. You know, the Bible tells us that when you give food, when you give coal of fire on his head. Have you noticed? Maybe you And the person doesn't know. He enjoys his life while you are in pain. Every time you see him, you have to put up eyes like you are not happy. But the person is not even seeing it. That's the power of silence. That's why I say, in returning to me, in trusting me, in resting. So, what to God? To fight for you is by keeping silence. Is by keeping silence, and you we all need to allow God to fight our battle for us. It is well with your soul. I see God strengthening you. I see God giving you victory. I am bring health to your inner man. Many are pain. And when you don't know how to handle these things satisfactorily, especially spiritually, they begin to affect your organ. Remember the Bible says, say, a merry heart do well good like has happened to them. They have to react. They have to talk to someone. They have to require, but not all cases. There Jesus did. Jesus knew, and I'll be showing you that, Jesus knew he was not the one who made them to go out of their way. Jesus knew he was not the one who led them to sin. Put on him, that means the discretion of the father, so he maintained his silence. Amen. May your day become brighter. May your health begin to appreciate right now. Amen. Right now. Amen. I command that pain that you have been looking for. It belongs. <laughs> you wonder why God has. You are fighting. So who know who get the glory? There are things you must give to the Lord. There are things we must lay it at his feet and say, God, have your way. I command healing for everyone aching. I command healing for everyone suffering emotional torture right now. I decree that your head begin to appreciate right now. I command every spirit of infirmity that have been lingering on this misunderstanding or this weakness or lack of knowledge and afflicting your Jesus Christ. Amen. And I pray for liberation of every organ. Go from strength to strength in the precious name of our Lord Jesus Christ. I will continue from here on Friday. By the grace of God, I still want to sincerely appreciate every one of you who have kept hanging online. I believe there will be improvement. Uh, the error is not from our end. The error is from our service provider. And those are the both just an example of things that you just disorganize and disorient your, 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 your body system. Praise God. I said praise God. The Lord bless you and prosper you. In case you are there and you are not born again, what a joy what an opportunity I have to bring the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ right to your door. 
Right now, I would like to receive Jesus. I want you to give your life to Christ. He called you for a rest, not for a war. Come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. You can receive rest from the battles of life as you invite Christ into your life. If you want to do that right now, I will lead you into prayer. Say after me, Lord Jesus, thank you for today. I am my Forgive me my sin. with your precious blood. And I confess with my mouth Bless you, brother and sister, whom you have confessed. Uh, please look for a Bible-believing church. Let them know what and they will guide you. Make sure you go to church authority to counsel you and to establish you in faith. You can also look for us. We will be glad to do that for you. God bless you and prosper you. For the rest of us, it is time to give our offering. It is time to give our offering. Some time in life, you keep quiet for people who discourage you from giving. Because it is your money. It is your life. And you are giving it to your God. What, what, what? No, 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 no. no. There are things you keep quiet about. Those of the same people who say don't give to church or don't give to the work of God, when you give to them, they receive it. Praise God. So who should you give to? They are not your maker. Therefore, as many As I pray with you right now, the the pay bit, the detail, our detail for for opportunity to sow seed into this ministry has been displayed. Heavenly Father, thank you. We appreciate you. We glorify you. Thank you for your faithfulness. Thank you for this depth that you have revealed to us. That we don't have to answer every fool according to their folly. Our silence is a weapon against every opposition. You say the people that put their trust in you will never be ashamed. The situation may be, we can trust of you. But there is no way. Thank you, Father. Accept our offering. Use it for the advancement of your kingdom.